we are spoilt for choice when it comes to 3D model websites. So which is the best for you and are there simply too many? With the new addition of MakerWorld into the 3D website collection, we have yet another addition when it comes to finding files to 3D print. So is there a clear winner or is this just a case of quantity over quality? In this video, we're going to try and be objective and compare these websites over 10 different areas. But first, let's identify the contenders. If I wasn't careful, this could be the longest video in the world. So I've narrowed down the contenders to seven main options. Each of them is fairly popular and I have some personal experience with them. Let's start with the granddaddy of them all, Thingiverse, which is called so because it was a universe of things. This has been around for as long as I can remember. In fact, the version you're seeing here was archived at the end of 2008. For most of its life, Thingiverse looked something like this, with MakerBot branding. But in late 2022, Ultimaker and MakerBot announced a merger which is why you now see it branded Ultimaker Thingiverse. And in case you didn't know, Ultimaker is the team behind Cura as well. Thingiverse had really been suffering from a lack of development. So new energy from a new team is exactly what it needed. Next up is My Mini Factory, another old school site that's been around since 2013. Like Thingiverse, it's got a wide range of objects, but I'd have to say it specializes in tabletops and miniatures. And when I'm looking for something to resin print, this is normally where I come first. Next, we have Colts 3D, which was founded in 2014. It claims to be the largest independent repository for 3D files. It doesn't seem to focus on any particular type of model. And its blurb talks about being a digital marketplace, with the designers receiving 80% of the net selling price. Launching in 2020, next up we have Thangs. On Thangs, you can upload your own models, but one of the specialties is the search, which will look through not only Thangs, but other sites as well. Also in 2020, we had the launch of Creality Cloud. As I documented in an earlier video, this had a pretty shaky start with most of the models simply ripped from other sites. But over time, it seems to have matured and has become a bit more popular, mainly with those with Creality printers. Technically, this launched with a different name back in 2019, but in 2022 was rebranded Printables. And if it wasn't obvious, this website is by Prusa. Printables quickly gained popularity, mainly due to delivering smart features that the community wanted, especially in the face of Thingiverse being so neglected. And our most recent addition is MakerWorld by Boomboo Lab, launched in 2023. And I'm not gonna lie, it takes heavy inspiration in its layout and design from Printables. It does, however, have some specific features that make it stand out, particularly for those who own Bamboo Lab printers. Despite all of these websites having the same core purpose, there are differences between them that give them strengths and weaknesses. So let's go through some various categories comparing them. We have a range of categories and we're going to use them to compare these websites. And the first of those is whether or not they offer free models. And fortunately, the answer to that is a resounding yes for all of them. In any of these websites, without even making an account, you can simply go through and download files to 3D print or use other manufacturing methods to make. Probably the least free, if that's a thing, is Colts 3D. And there are some free models, but when you hover over, most of them in the corner of the thumbnail will show a price for purchase. So what about paid models? And if you're just looking for something to download, maybe you're trying to avoid this, but there's another category of people who are looking to sell their work. So depending on your situation, paid models might be a good or a bad thing, which is why I've marked them with a yellow tick rather than a green. And you can see here that Thingiverse and MakerWorld are the only two that don't have any type of paid models. Sites like Colts 3D have a clear price for their models. You pay for them and then download the files. My Mini Factory has the same approach. And I think it's handy that the paid models are highlighted with a different color to make them stand out. For sites like Printables, most of the models are free but then certain creators have a club and that's like a subscription model similar to Patreon. Typically supporting a creator will have a price per month and that will grant you exclusive access to certain models. Thangs has a similar approach, calling it a membership and My Mini Factory, as well as the models that you pay to download also has something called Tribes where you pay to support a creator in return receiving exclusive models. You may have noticed that Creality Cloud has received a red tick here and yes, that's a bad thing. And that's because across the top, we can see a button called premium. 
and that introduces a subscription model for the entire site. Basically, you have to pay Creality to get perks to use on their website. If we come to premium models, it becomes a little bit confusing for me at least. We can see that if we have a subscription to Creality Cloud, we can download models for free. Otherwise, we have to pay them, but instead of just having the price, we have to use these silly tokens. The whole thing just feels like a cheap, free-to-play mobile game, and personally, that's not something I'm looking for when looking for 3D models to print. Our next category is advertisements, and web hosting needs to be paid for, so some ads are okay, but how obtrusive are they? I've marked all of the sites that have ads with a red tick. Thingiverse, I would say, is middle of the range. As you're scrolling, you have ads embedded in the grid where the model would otherwise be, and you also have ads in the banner of individual model pages. Reality Cloud is similar, although a lot of the ads are advertising their own promotions. For instance, on this strip, three of the boxes are taken up by Creality ads. But on individual model pages, we still get traditional advertisements. Colts 3D is probably a step up from these two, with larger collections of ads that take up more of the screen. In fact, here we see ads take up the entire screen. And then on model pages, we once again have smaller ads that are less obtrusive. Finally, My Mini Factory, which I personally find the most annoying because of this large banner that I need to keep on clicking to hide. Every time I load a new page, back it pops and that really annoys me. And on top of this, we have large ads embedded elsewhere in the site. But worst of all, sometimes the whole screen will be taken up by a random ad and we have to click to get back to the browsing. Next up, let's look at usability in terms of filtering down results with metadata and how smart the search engine is. Every site has categories for their models, so that's not enough to get a tick here. To get a green tick, we need to have two things. The first is advanced searching. And by that, I mean putting in arguments like you would with Google to narrow down exactly what you're after. Printables does an excellent job of this, as does Thanks with this advanced search feature. Colts 3D has a similar version, but none of the others had this. At least there was no documentation of it, and I couldn't find any evidence of being able to filter out keywords by trial and error. The other thing I was looking for was a way to filter results with metadata. This includes being able to change the sort order by different criteria, but more importantly, being able to narrow it down by category, and other things like whether it's been featured, how long it takes to print, what materials are suitable, whether it's free or paid, whether it can print without any support material, or if it's multi or single color. The leaders here were Printables, Colts 3D, and Thangs. They were good in terms of searching as well as metadata. Thingiverse, My Mini Factory and Maker World had one but not the other. The big loser here is Creality Cloud, which doesn't have smart searching, and there seems to be zero ways to filter a search at all. Next up, we have Contests, which typically involve submitting a design and having it judged and receiving an award if successful. This seems to be a growing trend, and most of the sites offer this in one way or another. I've entered a couple of these on printables, and in fact, I even won the last one. Similar contests are offered by Maker World, Colts 3D, which is a recent addition, and Creality Cloud, and some of those seem to be lucky dips where you don't need any skill at all to enter. Thangs also has a section called Contests, but it seems to be based on site activity. It seems more like a social media competition, but at least the prizes seem good. Interestingly enough, Thingiverse used to offer competitions, but it's now completely missing from the site's interface. So which of these sites have a companion mobile app? Well, I was surprised to find that most of them do. In some cases, like with My Mini Factory, it's pretty much a mobile phone package version of the website. Although one weakness is that paid models can't be purchased via the app. Creality Cloud is annoying and that once again it resembles a free-to-play mobile game with constant pop-ups that need to be closed. Well, maybe some people can ignore them, but I just can't. This app also spams you with annoying notifications. My favourite here is probably the offering from Bamboo Lab, with their Bamboo Handy app being able to control your printers, and in a recent release, also having Maker World embedded. Thangs as an app is really peculiar. It works just like the website, but there's one thing missing, and you can only access this feature by using the browser on your mobile phone, and that's augmented reality. After opening a model, you can tap on open augmented reality, press to turn on the camera, scan a table in front of you, and then have a 3D model projected into position on the screen. This is an interesting novelty, but I don't understand why they would have a mobile app without this functionality inside it. You'll notice that three of the websites have a yellow tick here, and that's because they have third-party apps available. 
For instance, 3D Geeks I've covered a while ago, and this provides an excellent interface for Thingiverse. Other options seem to cover printables as well as Thingiverse, and Colts 3D has a third party app as well, but as you can see, it's not free. Something with less support is cloud printing, and some people love this and some people absolutely hate it. It's not widely supported, and MakerWorld does by far the best job here. On the MakerWorld website, we have a button to click and open a file directly in Bamboo Studio. This will open up the Bamboo Slicer, import the model and position it with print settings already applied. Technically this isn't cloud printing, but it's still convenient. And from the mobile app, you can go to any model, tap on prepare to print, select your printer, and then send the model through from the cloud. You get limited customization options, and of course this only works if you're using a Bamboo Lab printer. Creality Cloud offers a slice button and allows you to directly slice models in the cloud with an increasing amount of control over parameters. Of course, this is primarily aimed at Creality 3D printers. Finally, My Mini Factory has a search filter for click and print, and that means for certain models on certain 3D printers, you can slice the model in the cloud and send the G-code directly to your machine. Previously, I've tested this on the Big Hue Thunder, which could be done for free as it was one of the selling points of that machine. But most of the machines that are listed here are only supported with a premium subscription. Printables gets a yellow tick here because they don't have proper cloud slicing, but they do allow users to upload pre-sliced G-code, potentially making the user's job a little easier. To finish up, let's look at some bonus perks and incentive for using any of these sites, starting with rewards. And I was surprised to find that this type of feature is in the minority. An example of this type of system is on printables. We're simply interacting with the sites, things like completing a bio, uploading, liking and downloading models will build up your Prusa meter. Most people would trade these in for free filament, but if you save up enough, you can also get 3D printers. As you can see, I have quite a lot building up and that's because postage is still very expensive getting filament to Australia. The reward system on MakerWorld is quite similar, but the prize pool is nowhere near as wide. The Creality Cloud system is there, but once again feels like a weird mobile phone game. But if you build up enough, you can get discounts and a wide range of filament. The equivalent of this on Thangs we covered earlier and they call it a contest. The prizes seem to be gift cards of pretty high value, but only the top people on the leaderboard actually win anything. So what about community groups like forums or message boards? Again, this is a feature that's limited. On Thingiverse, we can come to explore and then groups. There's quite a lot of categories to choose from, but the sorting of these is all over the shop and it appears as if most of them are not active. Printables also has groups, but this is limited to long running threads that are probably hard to navigate. They also have an event section showing a calendar of upcoming real world events. And although it's not linked on printables, there's a complete Prusa forum. This is a great resource, but geared towards Prusa 3D printers. Creality Cloud also has a community tab and by these numbers, you would think it would be very popular. Most of the comments, however, are simply makes with a little bit of text attached. But if you look hard enough, you'll find people asking for help and the lucky ones even have people responding to them. Finally, Maker World doesn't have an embedded community, but it does have a link to their forum. And like the Prusa forum, this is a great resource, albeit one set up for Bamboo Lab machines. Finally, as a bonus, we're looking at sites that have blogs, guides, or articles of interest. And most of these do, although the articles could be of limited interest. For instance, Colts 3D has content concerning the industry overall, whereas Prusa's blog concentrates mainly on their own products. Thingiverse has an education section, but it pretty much links to models on the site, some of which can be printed in the classroom, and thanks to the attached resources can be used as a teaching aid. There we have it, 10 different aspects compared for these different sites. And it's not my place to tell you which one is best for you because different people have different needs and priorities. But hopefully this video and table can help you decide what's the best fit for you. Let's return to that initial question on whether there's too many of these websites. And I would say the simple answer is yes. If we took all of these websites and took the best features from each, combining all of the models into one easily searchable place, I think that would be ideal for us as enthusiasts. But looking at it from the manufacturer's point of view, you can understand why they all want a piece of the pie. Firstly, if the website sells models, they're gonna get a cut of that and therefore it can be profitable. Secondly, for the websites run by 3D printer manufacturers, it's really valuable to them to have people coming to their sites and building that familiarity and brand loyalty. So that's why even though Maker World seems heavily inspired by printables, 
I'm not really surprised or upset that they've launched a new website because at least they've added that cloud printing functionality, which is particularly good for those new to 3D printing. Let me know in the comments section, which one is your favorite, or perhaps if I've missed a great one off my list. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy collecting models from websites for 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you wanna see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really wanna support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.